up folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Venture. You can probably tell from the B-roll of this video that we are back today with some Nike Alpha Fly Next% percent content. I know there hasn't been a lot of content on the channel, this awesome high-tech shoe, but we have been super busy, but that is all gonna change from today. So at the channel, we have searched far and wide and we have scoured the globe to find another performance running shoe packed full of high-tech features, groundbreaking compounds and materials and at the forefront of running development to take on the Nike Alpha Fly and push it to its limits. The only thing is, there is 50 years between that development. So that's right, folks. Today we are testing the Alpha Fly Next% percent against the original performance speed shoe, the Nike Waffle Racer. So that's right folks, this Waffle Racer was the Alpha Fly of its day. It was developed in 1972 by Nike and it was full of groundbreaking technology and super high-tech compounds and materials. Obviously this isn't a pair of the originals, it's got a few modern tweaks, it's a new shoe. The reason it's not one of the originals, believe it or not, interesting fact, last year a pair of the original 12 shoes developed by Nike for the Olympic trials in unworn condition, take a seat, sold at Southern Auction for 437,000 US dollars. So when you think about it in a bigger picture, I paid 259 pounds for my Nike Alpha Flies. They're a total bargain. So the plan is to put both shoes through a quick speed test. We have measured out a two mile super fast, very flat loop around hell. We're going to put both pairs of shoes on and we're going to try and run that route as quickly as we possibly can. Ideally, we would have tested both shoes over a longer distance as the Nike Alpha Fly is designed for running fast half marathons and marathons. But there's two reasons why we didn't do that. First one being, this isn't really a scientific test, it's just a bit of fun. And the second reason is, to be honest, I really didn't want to run any further than two miles in these things. Okay, so we're going to get in the Alpha Flies, we're going to go out and we're going to run one two mile loop, just as a bit of a warm up and just to check the route out. I think it's going to be quite busy out there, there's a lot of people down here on holiday. But also, just to give me a bit of time to get in the alpha fly before we really push the pace in it get used to this super bouncy crazy feeling running shoe i haven't run in it since the last video we did on it so it's going to take a few miles to get used to it again but let's get them on our feet and let's get out on that warmer mile into the warm-up and I'd totally forgotten how bouncy and how different this shoe feels to run it. It's super busy out there so I think it's going to be interesting trying to run this loop fast. Could be a bit of a nightmare to be honest but we'll see how it goes. So that's the warm-up done. A nice steady two miles at sort of 7.25, 7.30 pace. We'll get back to the van. We're going to have a bit of a stretch, a bit of a roll and then we'll be heading out for the first fast lap. So we've done our warm up, we've had a bit of a stretch and a bit of a roll and we're ready to go out on loop one in the Nike uh, Alpha Fly Next% percent. We're going to see what we can achieve in this cutting edge technology. We're going to give it everything we got and we're going to push really hard. Then we're going to come back, going to have a bit of a cool off and a bit of a stretch. And then we're going to get in this blast from the past, go out on the same loop, push hard to see what we can achieve in the Nike Waffle Racer. It's going to be super interesting to see how these two shoes perform, to see if there's a massive difference in between time and to see how my body feels running in two running shoes with almost 50 years in between their development. We're going to bring the GoPro along on the two loops. I'm not sure how much talking I will be able to do running the paces that we're running, but let's get out on that first loop. Okay, right, so this is go on lap one. We will hopefully see you back here in around 12 minutes. Three, two, one, let's go. different this shoe feels to run. Also, how unstable it feels going around corners. Nearly there. 
Half a mile to go. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh my life. So hard. The shoe definitely helps, man. That energy, that energy return is ridiculous. But you still got to have the lung capacity to run them paces. And I don't think mine are quite there yet, but pretty good first loop. Happy with that. I think we averaged about five 20 minute mile in for the two miles. So let's, uh, let's have a cool down, stretch off, and then let's get onto the bit of the video that I'm fearing the most. Two miles in the Nike Waffle Racer. Let's get them shoes on our feet. loop done in the alpha flies and I'd forgotten how quick how bouncy and how efficient that shoe felt to run at speed in so it was an awesome two miles now I put on these bad boys I'm not feeling so confident uh, it feels like I've got nothing on my feet and I don't think the next two mile loop is going to be as enjoyable but we've had a stretch we've had a roll legs are feeling loose we've got hydrated Speaking of hydration, in today's video we have hooked up with the brand Super Sparrow. They make some awesome insulated water bottles but also some really cool sports bottles. They come in lots of funky colours and designs and different shapes. So I've left a link in the description. They are quality products at a really affordable price. And the best thing of all guys is the really friendly people at Super Sparrow have sent us a load of bottles to give away to you guys at home. So at the end of this video, we'll give you all the details and all the information that you need to get your hands on some of their awesome products. Right, I put this off as long as I possibly can, but let's go and get these two miles done in these Nike Waffle Racers. Wish me luck. Right, let's get this done. I'm so sorry, feet, but three, two, one, let's go. bad as I thought it'd be, but my legs are definitely fatiguing with <laughs> her. Just half a mile to go. I can see the finish line. Come on, I hang it. So last 10 yards and we cracked it. Oh, so hard. Come on. Oh, it's so tough. I don't know if it's tough because I, I got lactic build up from the first one, but I've got to be honest, it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, the shoes are pretty comfortable. It's quite nice to have that connection rather than that deep stack of cushioning, but I think it proves one thing. Maybe 50 years of technology doesn't really matter when it comes to bombing two miles around a flat loop, but would I want to wear the waffles in a marathon? I really don't think so. I think the further you go in distance, the more you would feel the benefits from that modern technology. But let's go and have a, a bit of water, a bit of a stretch, and maybe a bit of a lie down. Oh, that's better, the legs are loosened off. We've had a bit of water, I feel like I'm back in the land of the living now, but it's getting late, we're gonna have some dinner, so we're gonna head home, 
We'll give you a bit more information about the shoes back at the house on how they felt, how they performed, what we thought about the differences in technology. And we'll also give you all the details and all the information you need to enter the giveaway. We'll see you back at the house. Well, what started out as a bit of fun actually turned out to be really interesting. Apart from having one of them days where things just didn't go right, cameras didn't work, batteries ran out, people kept getting in the way, it actually turned out to be a really worthwhile performance test. Firstly, it was great getting back out in the crazy Nike AlphaFly Next Percent. You know, it's so different to anything I have ever run in before. And I must be honest, I really think I'm still getting used to the shoe. And as far as when it comes to the Waffle Racer, I was really surprised, you know, I was actually dreading running two miles in this thing. I thought it was gonna be a terribly uncomfortable experience and it was actually pretty comfortable. I know it's not one of the original shoes and there's a few modern tweaks in there, maybe a little bit of memory foam in that midsole. So it was pretty comfortable and after being in the Nike Alpha Fly with that crazy deep midsole, lots of soft cushioning under your foot, it was actually nice to get back in the waffle, lower to the ground, less cushioning, more connected, more ground feel, and definitely worrying less when it came to running round corners. I realise it was only a two mile speed test and I know the Alpha Fly Next Percent is all about speed endurance and running economy over distance. So I'm sure the further I ran, the harder it would have got in the waffle racer. I personally feel there is a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent that you're just gonna buy a pair, put it on your feet, and it's gonna make you run quicker over any distance. And that really isn't the case. You know, the technologies in the shoe are designed for running efficiency and running economy over distance. And I think this short performance test really proves that. We ran a two mile quick loop in both shoes, and there was only 10 seconds between these two shoes. The Waffle Racer ran it 10 seconds slower, and I think a lot of that 10 seconds was just coming from fatigue from the first two mile loop in the Alpha Flies. Also on the loop, I had quite a few holiday makers to dodge and some cars to dodge as I was crossing junctions. So again, I think the test proves when you look at the two shoes that yes, the Nike Alpha Fly probably does help when it comes to running efficiency and running economy over distance, but maybe it doesn't have such a big impact over shorter distances. But I think the biggest thing to come out of this speed test was how unstable the Nike Alpha Fly is when it comes to cornering at speed. I mentioned it in our initial first impressions review and I mentioned it earlier in this video, but this shoe really is unstable when you're running quickly around tight corners. I felt like I was fighting the shoe around every corner. I felt like I was working really hard. I felt like I could tweak my ankle. I had to slow down. I couldn't run them at speed and I had to take a wider line around that corner. So I'm not really sure how efficient that is when it comes to the Nike Alpha Fly. I personally think if I was running a, a really twisty city marathon route with lots of sharp corners, I'm really not sure whether I would wear this shoe. I think all the time gained from this awesome Zoom X compound, the AirPods under your forefoot and that carbon fly plate, I'd actually lose a percentage of that having to slow down and take that less efficient line around the corners. So I'm really not convinced when it comes down to the instabilities when cornering at speed in the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent, how positive that's gonna be when it comes to my running economy. Obviously, this was just a really short, quick two mile speed test and it's not really what the Alpha Flies are designed for. We know they're designed for running long distances quickly, efficiently, running economy, things like that. So over the next couple of weeks, we are gonna be putting the shoe to its test over distance. Maybe we're gonna try and break a few PBs, maybe a 10 mile PB and a half marathon PB. We'll see what we can do at the channel. But if you're not already guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload any new Nike Alpha Fly content. So that is enough talk about running shoes. Let's give you a few more details when it comes to the giveaway. So I mentioned earlier that we have hooked up with the awesome brand Super Sparrow in this video. They actually sent some bottles down to the channel for us to try and we were really impressed with the quality of the product the attention to detail that we haven't stopped using them since we got them all the bottles look really cool and are super practical but they come with some great accessories as well so the insulated bottles come with a really nice cover and protector a strap for that cover so you can carry it a spare top with a nozzle two spare straws also with a cleaning tool 
all these things that a lot of brands would actually make you pay for, but not with Super Sparrow, it all comes included when you purchase a bottle. So two lucky winners are gonna walk away with a Super Sparrow sports bottle, but also one of their awesome, cool looking insulated bottles. So what do you have to do to win? It's pretty simple really guys, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and then on Instagram follow Run For Adventure and Super Sparrow. The competition is going to be running till the end of September and then we are going to draw two lucky winners at random. So best of luck with the competition guys. I've left a link in the description for Super Sparrow, definitely worth going and clicking on that link, checking out their product range. Their bottles look super cool and are at really affordable prices, so well worth checking out. But for now, we really hope you've enjoyed some more AlphaFly content on the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. But as always, stay safe and keep on running.